Okay, this is my Popeye PCB. I'm going to set it to free play. I'm going to install this high score kit from Braze. Uh, if you look on it, J5, so basically in the middle of the board, that's, that's your processor. You need to pull that first. So I'm just going to pull it with this little screwdriver, flathead underneath on both sides, just kind of carefully. Pull that thing up. And these are, I really been wanting to put this kit on here for a while. All right. I'm going to put the camera down and get that off. It's done. Oh, you just have to be careful to get the pins lined up. You know what I mean? Uh, just really careful. On this one, they were bent a little bit out, so I just had to push them in with my fingers to get it on there. And then you go back to the Z80, which is right here, the same spot where it was. It was just like this, pointing that direction. So you want to get this lined up as well, underneath, into that socket. Make sure it's lined up really well before you push it in. Okay, now it's, uh, I just put the, the Popeye was set to free play earlier on the dip switch settings, but I just put the Braze High Core Save kit in. And the whole point behind that is, when you're in free play on this Popeye normally, you won't have an attract screen, so you can get a lot of burn in on your monitor. And this is an original Sanyo, whatever, EZ, and I don't want to have that burn in. But it should be free play, so if I just hit player one, it starts right up. So that's perfect. And this is the uh, joystick I just rebuilt, so. Of course, Popeye, you cannot play one-handed, so. At least not do very well. All right. But anyway, that's awesome. That was like super easy and it's going to save the high scores. All right, quick video, but uh, it's an upgrade I wanted to do for this Popeye cab forever. Thank you to Braze for uh, making that kit. It's awesome.